The first to do a proper educated study on the site was John Aubrey in 1666. This is shortly after the Enlightenment, with William Stukeley and William Cuttingen taking up his mantle afterwards in the 1800s and 1900s respectively. We've already been over their discoveries previously, as they laid the foundation of what we know about Stonehenge today, so we'll now be exploring the more obscure excavations. William Goland oversaw the first major restoration of Stonehenge in 1901. He created a concrete setting for one of the sarsen stones that was in danger of falling, doing so moving it half a metre from its original position. This might seem irrelevant for most of us, however those who find Stonehenge sacred found this to be disrespectful to the site. In 1920, William Hawley would do further restoration work. Finding a bottle of port left in the slaughter stone, left behind by William Cunnington. The most controversial of these restorations was in 1956. Many of the stones were re-erected and set back with concrete bases. Many conspiracy theories followed this restoration, claiming that there was something more sinister going on. These ranged from the original stones being hidden away by the UK government, and the stones there now are not the originals, to there's something hidden underneath Stonehenge that the British government didn't want us to know about. Many who find Stonehenge sacred also stated that this restoration ruined the spiritual feeling of the site. In 1993, the House of Commons Public Accounts Committee called the way Stonehenge was presented to the public a national disgrace. English Heritage, to defend themselves, brought out a book called Stonehenge and its Landscape that goes into detail of all the discoveries that were made during these excavations. Many of the facts in this video come from this very book. Many digs still take place in Stonehenge to this date, 2021, by many archaeologists and universities in Britain. The last discovery of making this video was in February 2021. These are a large amount of Neolithic and Bronze Age artefacts that were found in and around the site while also revealing that the proposed Stonehenge tunnel would go through many Bronze Age graves. Be sure to check out my other channel, History Sticks, for the complete, longer and comprehensive video.